Good lighting takes your videos from this to this. Looks hard, right? Well, it's not. Since the discovery of fire, light has been essential to the survival of the human species. Now it's time for the next step in human evolution, the content creator. No, <laughs> not really. Let's get started. Light can make or break your video's aesthetic. Here are six lighting setups that'll make your videos or your films look, dare I say, cinematic. My recording? Audio? Starting with three-point light. The uses for this lighting setup are interviews, talking head commercials, and videos just like this tutorial. The first light you need is a key light. Whatever is the brightest light in your entire scene, that is the key light. It can range from a reading light to a cell phone light and all the way up to a heavy duty production light. It all depends on your limitations and your creative choice. Now moving on to the next light you need, a fill light. The first thing you need to ask yourself is how much shadow do you want on your subject's face? You can either bounce the light off of a reflective surface, or you can actually use another light. Bouncing light means you're reflecting light from another light source onto your subject. In a three-point lighting setup, that means you're bouncing the light off of your key light. Typically, you'd bring in another light when you're trying to shoot for more of a high key look. High key means less shadows, like you see on my face, and a more of an evenly lit subject. For a more moody look, you would go with less of a bounce fill and potentially even use a negative fill. And a negative fill is typically a black piece of fabric that absorbs the light and creates more shadow rather than reflecting light onto the subject. Subject. And to add even more emotion to your scene, go ahead and check out the music options over at Artlist using the mood filter. Some good options for this are serious and dramatic. The next lighting setup is split lighting. You place the light on either side of the subject at a 90 degree angle from the camera. It creates this mysterious feeling around your character, like, almost like a menacing feeling. To get really deep with it, it has a two-faced vibe to it, you know, with one side of the face in the light and the other side in complete shadows. This is cinematic. And when in doubt, just remember, shadows usually equals cinematic. Moving on to broadside lighting. Okay, try to follow this. Place the light on the side of the face that is the same side as the camera, but with your subject facing away from camera. That was a bit of a riddle, but just look at this shot. This is great for when you're looking for a cinematic look, but not necessarily looking to overly dramatize your scene. So if you wanna go find some music that actually fits an upbeat and hopeful theme, go check out Artlist and click on hopeful because that's exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> and if you found any of these setups helpful so far, then let us know in the comment section by answering this question. What other topics would you like us to cover on this channel? Short side lighting is the exact opposite of broadside lighting. Remember how shadows equal cinematic? This is where this lighting setup shines. Pun intended. I'm sorry. By placing your camera on the shadow side of the subject, you're creating this dramatic look. You're emphasizing darkness versus light. And oh boy, does this have thematic undertones. I'm a film nerd, if you haven't already understood that. <laughs> this lighting is great for dramatic scenes that are either sad or mysterious or angry. Now we're getting more into the stylized realm with backlighting. Backlighting is essentially taking your key light and placing it behind your actor. Because remember, the key light is the brightest light in your scene. It doesn't matter if it's in front of your subject or behind your subject. It can be done either with studio lights or sunlight. Sunlight looks the most, say it with me now, cinematic. Yes, yes, cinematic. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. Backlighting is a great way to really draw your audience's eyes to the main character for whatever reason that you see fitting for your story. Also, have you seen a backlit shot? Mwah. So beautiful. By the way, if you're looking for high quality sound effects, music, and stock footage that you saw and heard throughout this video, then check out the Artlist and Artgrid links in the description below. Artlist offers the unlimited and the personal plan. See which one works for you in the links below. Top lighting isn't one you see all the time because it has a very specific use. The goal of it is to create an air of mystery and intimidation about the specific character. But why mystery and intimidation? If you take a look at movies that use it, top lighting creates raccoon eyes by basically using the eyebrow to drop your eyes into shadows. Going on the theme that eyes are the windows to the soul, if you can't see the eyes, then how can you really know who that person is? That's just my personal take on it, but it makes sense, right? So if you're like me, you probably want to get better at making video content. And a great way to start that is to follow what's trending. So check out our last video where I spoke about the four trends that you should look out for in 2022. See you over there and thanks for watching everyone. Bye.